Hi everyone. Hi, it's Miss Lisa. I'm here at the Center for Spiritual Living in San Jose and we're going to learn some stuff today. We're going to learn about God. We're going to learn about prayer and meditation and the special, special thing we're going to learn about today is respect. Respect. Hmm. We'll talk more about that later. Right now we're going to talk about God. What do you think God is? Are you thinking? Are you think? I think a lot of you know. What is God? That's right. God is everything. God is my glasses. God is my hair. God is here and God is over there. God is everything. It's everywhere. God, 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 God. You might call God different things. You might call it spirit or love or Buddha or Allah or Jesus. You might have different names for it. Power, because God is power. God is so many things. And you know what? It's inside of us because it's everywhere. So we get to use it. I can use my God to do whatever I need to do. Did you know that? I bet you did. So let's talk about some things God is. Oh, look at all these things God is. Here's one. God is life. Now, all of these candles say something that God is too. Here's our candles. And every time I see you, we celebrate these things that God is, okay? So we're going to do it with the cards and the candle lighting. We're going to say all of these things that God is, and then we'll light a candle each time we say them. So if God is these things and it's inside of us, we get to be those things. So if God is life, what? I am life and you are life, okay? So every time I say that God is something, we're going to say, I am that. Are you ready? God is life. I am life. God is light. And I am light. God is joy, like happiness. I am joy. God is peace. I am peace. God is love. I am love. God is beauty. I am beauty. God is power. I am power. And together we say, all of these things God is, I am. How great. We get to be everything God is. I think that's a reason to celebrate, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. If I get to be everything God is, that means I'm, I'm wonderful. And you are too. We all are. I love that. Sometimes you see somebody, they're doing things that seem yucky. And you might say, how could they have God in them, right? It seems like they don't have God in them because maybe they're, they're saying mean words or they're hitting someone or they're just not following the rules. And you might say, how could they have God in them? But if you know that God is everywhere, you know it's in them. So why would they act that way? They forgot to use their God. Or they didn't know they had it in them. So they didn't use it. That's what happens sometimes. And it's a little sad. So we have to remember that everybody has God. And we need to be kind to everyone and remind them. We can tell them, well, you have God in you too. We can always do that. All righty? Cool. Do you ever forget that you have your God in you? I mean, well, we all got the same God, but do you ever forget that you have God in you? Like sometimes I forget. I forget and I, I forget. I don't forget that I have it in me. I always, always know that. But I forget to use it. I forget to use it. Did you ever forget to use your God? Maybe you just, someone said something yucky to you and you said something yucky back. I've done that. Someone has said something mean to me and I said something mean back and later I felt really bad about it because I knew that wasn't using my God. 
So a way we can help ourselves remember to use it is we say a prayer. So let's say a prayer. Our prayers have five steps, okay? God is all there is. God is everything. So I say God's all there is. And then I would say, and I know God's inside of me. I'm going to remember next time that I have God inside of me and I won't say those yucky words because God is cool and nice and kind and so I am cool and nice and kind. And then I say for my fourth step, thank you, thank you God. Thank you for being in me. Thank you for working so beautifully in the universe. And the fifth step is let it go. Now I know I'm not gonna say yucky words even if somebody says them to me. That's a prayer. It always helps us to remember, right? Prayer is pretty cool. So today we're learning about respect. What is respect? Let me see. Oh, the paper people left a paper for me to tell me what respect could be. Let me see, I have it here. I'll read it, you can hear. What is respect? Respect is treating others the way you would like to be treated. Mm. So when that person called me that yucky thing, I didn't like it. So is it good for me to call them a yucky thing back? No, I should treat them the way I would like to be treated and say, I didn't like that. I think you're pretty. I could have said that, right? Respect is remembering to use all of the good God stuff inside of us to make sure that we are treating other people well. I know you do that usually, right? Mm -hmm. Now, respect, <clears throat> treating others well, that includes people, right? But it also includes animals and the earth and even things. Like treat your toys and your clothes with respect. Things that are yours, treat them with respect because if you don't, they'll get broken and then you have to get new ones or they'll get ripped and then you have to get new ones. Treat your things with respect. Would you like someone to break you or rip you? No. So you want to treat your things with respect and the earth. Would you like somebody to make you all dirty? No, we need to keep our earth clean, right? And other people and animals. Would you, if you had a tail, would you like someone to pull it? Be sweet to your animals. Respect them. Treat them the way you would like to be treated, right? And even like little bugs outside. Don't, if you see a worm, don't poke at it. Would you like somebody poking and picking at you? I, like little bugs when they're out there, ladybugs crawling. Now, if there was a big giant and you were walking along, would you like that big giant to poke at you? Like, no, that ladybug's in her home. Respect her. Be sweet to her. It might be a boy. Some ladybugs are boys. Did you know that? Respect him. So, oh, this says, when we show respect, we are following the golden rule. The golden rule is treating others the way you want to be treated. And if you do that, if you just treat others the way you want to be treated, you'll always be treating, you want to be treated nicely, right? So you'll always be treating, treating others well, and the earth well, and insects well, and puppy dogs well, and your friends, and the earth, and everything. Okay? All right. So that's what respect is. <clears throat> but I have some puppets here that are going to help us learn a little bit about it, too. I've got Blake. Hi, Blake. Hello. There's Blake. And I have our friend, Chef. Hello, I am Chef. We know who you are, Chef. I like to bake. Yeah, but your cookies taste horrible. How do you think Chef feels when Blake says something like that? Oh, I tell you, I feel sad. I work very, very, very hard on my cookies. And you say they taste terrible? I don't like them. Blake, even if you don't like his cookies, that's not a nice thing to say. Are you sure? Is Blake showing respect? No, no, it's not. Do you friends think Blake is showing respect? Well, his cookies do taste terrible. I'm telling the truth. It's not nice. That's not nice, Blake. Think about it. Well, okay. I don't know. I'll tell you what, uh, how about if I make your favorite kind of cookies? Well, my favorite kind of cookies are M&M cookies. Okay, I will make some of those. And then you tell me if they taste good or horrible. I would like to do that for you. Okay, 
Make me some M&M cookies. Okay. So Chef did. He went and made Blake some M&M cookies. And Blake came back the next day and he tried them. And he said, hey, those are good. But you know what? What? That red scarf on your neck. It's just goofy looking. Oh, I wear this red scarf because I am a chef. It shows who I am. I like my red scarf. It's goofy looking. Blake, would you like someone to tell you that your clothes are goofy looking? No. Would you like someone to tell you that your cookies tasted terrible? No. Is Blake showing respect? No, no, he is not. No, do your friend think he's showing respect? Well, I'm telling the truth. And the M&M cookies were good, but the other ones were terrible. And the red scarf does look goofy. Well, you think it might think it looks goofy, but if you wouldn't like someone to tell you that your clothes look goofy, then you shouldn't say that to someone else. That's not showing respect. Hmm. He doesn't know how to do it. Blake doesn't know how to show respect. Maybe we should try one more time and see what happens. Okay. Hello, Blake. Oh, Blake, you hit Chef. Well, I don't like him. Oh, Blake, that's not showing respect at all. It's not, it's not nice. Blake, you have to learn to show respect and treat others the way you would like to be treated. Would you like it if someone hit you? Sometimes people do hit me. There's a big guy at school and he hits me all the time. Do you like it? No, but, well, no, I don't like it. Well, Blake, if you don't like it, then you should not do it to others. But, but people do it to me. I know, because they forgot to use the God inside of them. Yes, you have God inside of you, Blake. I know. Well, then you should use it. You should stop and think. Before you say things like, my cookies are terrible and my scarf is goofy and, and hitting me. Yeah. Would you like me to tell you something you do is terrible? No. What do you like to do? I'm good at skateboarding. Would you like me to tell you you are a terrible skateboarder? No. Well, then see. I think I get it. Would you like me to tell you that your clothes are goofy? No. Would you like me to hit you? No. Well, then what do you need to show? I guess, yeah. I'm sorry, chef. I forgive you. That means he likes Blake, but he didn't like his choices. I think I can show respect. I will treat others the way I want to be treated. That's right. That's the golden rule. I feel better now. Hey. Can I teach you how to skateboard? That would be great. Let's go. Okay. It feels better when everyone shows respect, doesn't it? Yeah, when you don't show respect, oh my goodness, yucky, yucky, yucky things can happen. I have a song about that. I hope I can teach it to you right now. It's a song about respect. And in the song, we're going to spell the word <clears throat> Respect. Can you spell it with me? R E S P E C T. Let's do it again. R E S P E C T. When we get to that part, we're going to clap that, okay? I will. Hmm, I think I can leave this right here. Maybe I can. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. All right. Oops. There we go. So when we get to that part, we'll we'll clap that. Okay. Here you'll be able to see it. So here's how our song goes. Say, if you are respectful, can you say that? If you are respectful, here's what you will do. You try that. Here's what you will do. Say you'll treat others. You'll treat others just the way, just the way you want them to treat you. You want them to treat you. Now we're going to spell it and clap. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's the golden rule. When you use it, you will be so cool. You will be so cool. Let's try it again. You ready? Okay. If you are respectful, here's what you will do. 
If you are respectful, here's what you will do. You'll treat others. You'll treat others just the way you want them to treat you. Let's spell it. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's the golden rule. That's the golden rule. When you use it, you will be so cool. Oh. Have you done things where you've shown respect? I bet you have. Have you ever heard anybody say that? You need to respect your grandma. She's been around a long time. She knows a lot of things. You need to respect her. Has anyone ever said that to you? Respect is treating others the way you want to be treated. Let's sing it one more time. Okay, here we go. If you are respectful, here's what you will do. You'll treat others just the way you want them to treat you. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, that's the golden rule. When you use it, you will be so cool. Yeah, good job. Good, good job, guys. Okay, so we had our song. We did our candles. Our puppets taught us a little bit about respect. <clears throat> it's time to meditate. Do you know what that is? If you've been watching these videos, you know, and I bet you're getting really good at it. Meditation is making your brain strong, ah, giving it. Like we don't have any muscles in our brain, I don't think, but maybe we do, I don't know. But, <laughs> but our brain does a lot of work, right? Your brain tells you to raise your hand, your brain tells you to walk, your brain tells you what seven plus three is, your brain tells you, everything. It remembers what food you like. It tells you maybe if you're smart, you'll try a new food. Your brain does a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So do we want strong brains, just like strong muscles? Yes. We want to make our brains powerful. So we have to exercise our brain. Just like we exercise our muscles, we have to exercise our brain. So the way we exercise our brain, what do you do with your brain? You think, right? So what we do to exercise our brain is we think good thoughts for a long time, as long as we can. And then when somebody does something, like when that person said something yucky to me and I said something yucky back, <clears throat> if my brain was a little stronger, if I maybe meditated a little bit more, I might have been able to remember right away that I had God inside of me and everything was good. And meditation helps us do that. It's exercising our brain. And how we do it is we just sit and think good, happy things and we don't let anything bother us, and we do it. And you can do it, some people do it for a long time. We do it for two minutes, two minutes every time we meet. So we're gonna do it now, I'm gonna put some nice music on. We're gonna sit, you wanna get comfy, you can sit in a chair, you can sit on the floor, you can lay on the floor, lay on your bed, wherever you wanna do it. Get comfortable, make your body comfortable because you're gonna be working your brain, all right? So let me do my technology here. I'm gonna find some nice music. Here we go. Hear that? We're gonna sit for two minutes and think beautiful, happy thoughts and remember that we have God inside of us. Are you ready? We're gonna do this for two minutes. Be quiet, don't you fast forward. You do this meditation with me because I know you can do it. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Let it out. We're gonna close our eyes. Here we go.
eyes. Does your brain feel strong? Oh, what did you think about? One thing I thought about was cotton candy. And how happy I used to be to get cotton candy when I was little. I thought about cotton candy and I thought about kittens and flowers. I thought about my mommy. I thought about all the things I love. How about you? Yeah, that makes your brain strong. You can always go back to remembering that you're connected to God. God's inside of you and you have all those beautiful things. Ah, oh, my brain's feeling pretty strong now. I think I'm ready to read a story about respect. I think it's more like a book. I don't know that it's so much a story. Do you see it up there? See my book? See it? I show respect. Let me go get it. I'm gonna get my book. I'm gonna get my book. I'm gonna get my book. I got my book. I show respect. Hmm. Let's see what they talk about. I think you're already gonna know all this, but let's just go through it. I show respect. Brittany is my friend, Kendra said. She told me that you are a great girl. I am not a great girl, I said. Then I stomped up the stairs and hid. Hmm. Oh, Tasha, Kendra called. Don't you want to play a game before bed? What kind of game? I called back. You'll have to come out if you want me to tell you, Kendra said. I'm right here, I said. I felt sad when you hid from me, said Kendra. I'm sorry, I said. Can we play that game now? Do you promise to listen to me and follow my rules? I promise, I said. I'm going to pretend to be an animal and you have to guess what I am, said Kendra. Kendra did a funny walk and said, quack. So easy, I said, you're a duck. Will you be my babysitter again? I asked. Sure, said Kendra. You are a great girl. Aww. So, did the girl show Kendra respect? Not at first, right? Would you like somebody to go and hide under the bed when you're trying to talk to them? Was that respectful? No, but she learned. She learned. So, she learned to be respectful. And I think Kendra won, won her trust, right? Did you ever have a time when you didn't feel like um, did you ever have a time when you didn't feel like you wanted to respect someone, but then you decided that you did? Yeah, she had a new babysitter. She didn't respect her, but then she did. So that's a good thing. Okay, so we had our story, and she learned, that girl she learned to show respect, to treat Kendra the way she would like to be treated, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have a craft today because it's the first week of the month, but we are going to do a color sheet. So if you go on your computer um, and you can find where you're watching this video, you can look and see something that says, um, I am respectful. And then you can print this out and it will look like this. 
Now, if you don't have a computer or a printer at your house, well, you must have a computer because you're watching me, but if you don't have a printer at your house, that's okay. You could maybe write these words or you could just draw a picture of yourself being respectful. So I've got this. I decided that I would color the letters in an AB pattern. So I did green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. But you can do them however you want to do them. Color this up and then hang it up, maybe in your room or somewhere, so you can always remember to show respect. Alrighty, and that's all we have for today. But I'm very happy that you were here and I will see you next time, all right? So remember, you have God inside of you. If you ever forget, you can say a prayer. You can make your brain stronger by meditating. And you're great. <laughs> okay, I will see you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.